Welcome back guys. Uh, I had picked up this HZX Vogan HBM2280 uh, welder for a project. Uh, ended up not gonna work for what I was trying to do. Um, so I figured I'd try and do a little review on it. See if it would help anyone else that's looking for a cheap little welder. Um, this thing costs roughly 500 bucks on Amazon. Um, disclaimer, no sponsors, no nothing. I bought this with my own money. Um, it's out of the box. Doesn't seem too bad for packaging wise uh, and what comes with it. Uh, it's got a bunch of different features. It's a multi-process, so it can do stick, TIG, lift TIG, uh, and MIG. Um, it's supposedly supposed to be pretty good with aluminum, uh, MIG aluminum, so we'll try and test that out and see if it's actually any good. Uh, and everything that it comes with comes with your MIG gun. Um, I will say it doesn't feel too bad um, in your hand at least, so comfort's not a terrible thing. We'll see how it uh, welds. It has an adapter, so if you wanted to run it on 220, it can. Uh, this is your liner. So when you want to run aluminum, uh, you have a Teflon liner for it. Um, you usually run a Teflon liner when you're doing stainless also. It comes with a stinger. It's uh, a smaller one. Uh, it's not made for anything big, uh, but this machine can only go supposedly to 200 amps. So it's not like a heavy duty. It's more for around a small shop, um, yard work, stuff like that. It's definitely not made for anything industrial. I mean, it'll probably do the job. Um, I won't be testing this because I don't do a whole lot of stick welding. Um, so I wouldn't be a good person to review that. It comes with your ground, standard ground cable, nothing fancy. And it comes with extra rollers for different size wires. Uh, and it actually comes with a tungsten, which is weird because it doesn't actually come with a TIG torch. So, interesting. And this would be your hose to hook it up to a regulator. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't come with a regulator. That's one of the downsides, but it's not end of the world. Um, they're not that expensive if you need to pick one up. And if you're already a welder, I'm sure you got one lying around that you can hook it up to. Uh, it does come with the instruction manual and how to set it up. Um, let's uh, plug it in and see some of the settings on it. So it has MIG sync. So that's if you want to have the machine itself uh, set your wire to your volts or give you a range that they should be in. Uh, and then this tells you how to set up your ground and your, your, your wires for the different things, depending on what you're doing. Uh, for stick, this would need to be over here. Or same thing with TIG. All right. All right, so it tells you how to set that up. And then you set, pick your different, uh, whatever type of material. Uh, so that's steel, that's stainless, uh, that is aluminum and magnesium. That is if you're going to be doing flux core, so gasless wire. Uh, and that would be copper, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. All right, so steel. And then you can pick the different type of gas, if you're using a mixed gas or if you're doing straight CO2. 
So with this would be gas, uh, your different wire diameters. Um, I, off the top of my head, I don't know the uh, metric to standard conversion. I think that's 035, uh, 2T, 4T. So this is for when you're uh, hitting your MIG gun. Uh, 2T means you're gonna push the trigger in, you're gonna hold it until you're done welding, and when you let go, it stops welding. Uh, 4T, it's four touches. So you're gonna hit it and release, and it's gonna weld until you hit it and release it again. So basically, 4T is for long duration welds. If you're doing something really long, your finger will get tired, you don't have to hold it on the trigger. You can just hit it, go, and then hit it again, and be done. Uh, and then this is, you can set up your thickness of your material. It goes from 032 to uh, 110, so just shy of an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch is uh, 125. Uh, 032 would be a 32nd. Yeah, because 16 is 06. To five. So it's about a 30 seconds of an inch or uh, 18 gauge maybe? I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, so once you pick all that, this will tell you your, your range for what you need to be in. So uh, these little white boxes are what it recommends for your range. So, 17 is your low end for uh, your wire speed, for foot, foot a minute, uh, and your max whoop, would be about 23.6, uh, and your volts would be. 15.2, and your max end would be 19. All right, um, depending on how you do it. I personally don't like to sync. That's my, my thing. Um, I prefer to set my wire uh, and my volts to how I weld. But And then you have down here, you have your inductance, which is basically your, uh, what your what your weld would look like. So on your, if you go down lower and it's gonna have more of a bubble uh, and a little bit short, uh, narrower weld width wise, uh, if you had your inductance up, it would be more flat and wider. All right, and you hit this button again and you can go Switch it over to your MIG, regular MIG. Uh, it's got your, how to set it up again, which it's basically, it's the same. 2T, 4T again. And then this is more basic. Uh, you got your inductance. You got your volts and your wire speed. Uh, and it doesn't have your bobbles for where to pick it or your, weld, your material thickness. You set it for what you think it's right and go. All right. Uh, your MMA, so this is what I'm talking about with the with this. Uh, it's set up differently, so this wouldn't actually be hooked up. Um, your stinger would be over here. Your ground would be over here. Uh, the type of uh, your duty cycle. I'm not sure what that's for. All right, your welding diameter, your thickness of your material and then your parameters on where you should be welding that at. Uh, same thing with TIG, it's be set up exactly the same. Uh, your tungsten diameter, the thickness of the wire, and where it thinks you should be is in this bobble. Um, and then it's got some settings if you wanna be uh, if you want it all in metric, or if you want it all in imperial, depending on where you're from. Uh, and then I'm not sure what the, the VRD is. 
Uh, it was on on, so I'll just leave it there. Uh, overall, so far, with it's, uh, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. Um, I do like. Uh, I like how it's set up. Uh, the the sink is really nice if that's something you're into being able to pick and choose and and set your different parameters for what you're looking for um, it, it's it, it's nice the buttons aren't bad I mean it doesn't seem like it was overly terribly made um, so we'll uh, we'll set it up to weld we'll put some wire in it and uh, we'll see how she does um, I'll do that off camera um, I, don't really trust welding with my cameras on, uh, worried about ruining them. So I'm sorry, until I get a setup, I can't show that, unfortunately. Well, I'm surprisingly impressed with this uh, little machine. Uh, for the price point of around 500 bucks, uh, it wasn't bad. Um, had a bunch of versatility, the sync MIG, worked really well, um, especially with the aluminum. Um, it also has the capability of running a spool gun, uh, if you prefer that for aluminum. Um, I, don't, I didn't get it with the spool gun, so I couldn't test it. Um, I prefer regular MIGging. I'm not a big fan of the spool guns. Um, and like I had said before, the the gun is comfortable um, for what it is. Uh, the only drawback for me personally, uh, I tend to use my middle finger instead of my pointer uh, when I'm pulling the trigger. And this part that jots out at the bottom was interrupting it a little bit. Um, I had to position my hand a little bit higher than I like. but. It wasn't the end of the world. Um, again, that's a, a personal preference thing with the way I weld. Um, that, that'd be up to you if that's something that would deter you or not. Um, and the welds actually, it welded really well for uh, what it is. Uh, for 500 bucks, it'll do what you need around your shop, as long as it's nothing industrial and heavy duty. Um, I mean, it made nice beads once you figured out the settings. Uh, it's got plenty of fusion. Um, the aluminum looks good. Uh, I was running a little hot. Um, I had it set for 035 wire and I only had 030 for the aluminum. So uh, it took me a little bit to dial it in and I didn't get it quite right. But I mean, it fused, it, there's no lack of fusion, it's strong. So um, I definitely, for the price point of 500 bucks, it's not a little, bad little welder. Um, so don't be too deterred to buy it if you're looking at one. Um, I, I recommend them for, for a small shop or stuff around your house or whatever. Um, so that's all I have for this. Uh, stay tuned, I actually did buy another welder uh, for that project. Um, and when that comes in, I will review that and compare, try and compare the differences between them. Uh, they're both in the same price range. All right, have a good one guys.